This is a video to Mr. Harold Camping. Now, you will remember Mr. Harold Camping. He predicted the start of the tribulations and the rapture to take place on the 21st of May 2011 and he is still predicting the end of the world to take place on the 21st of October of this year 2011. That Harold Camping. Now, as you may have heard, Mr. Camping has suffered a mild stroke. But let's not forget that Mr. Camping is 89 years old. At that age a mild stroke is not something from which you will really recover. A mild stroke at the age of 89 is a clear indication that we are on that final slippery slope downward to the inevitable end that awaits all of us. And with that in mind, so I'm not making this video, by the way, to gloat about Mr. Camping's misfortune. That is not my intention. I am making this video because I want to appeal to him. I want to appeal, and I'm not going to call it his better nature. I am not going to call it his conscience, because I am convinced that Mr. Harold Camping is in fact a psychopath, that is my opinion, and it would be foolish of me to even try to appeal to such a person's better nature, because he wouldn't have one. No, what I want to appeal to is something that most psychopaths share in great abundance, and that is a hugely inflated sense of self-importance, a hugely inflated sense of what they mean in the greater scheme of things, how people will look up to them and that sort of thing. That is a sort of narcissistic personality trait that psychopaths tend to share. And that is what I want to appeal to here. Now, Mr. Camping, like I just said, you are on that slippery slope. There is no denying it. You are 89 years old. You have suffered a minor stroke. You are definitely on the last leg now. And it is time to start realizing that you are as mortal as everybody else. So, now that you have, on the basis of your failed predictions, made such a large amount of money, you must realize that considering the circumstances, it is highly unlikely that you are ever going to enjoy your ill-gotten gains, to a large extent anyway. What you are going to be needing in the next few years is a good, clean, comfortable hospital bed and the care of attention, the care and attention of a number of nurses and a little bit later on in the game a good experienced palliative care team. That is what you're going to need. Now you can buy all that at the greatest level of quality for maybe, and that is a huge exagger exaggeration I would imagine, but probably something in the order of a million dollars. That would keep you in comfort keep you in the luxury to which you have grown accustomed for the rest of your life. So considering that you have made over a hundred million dollars with your bizarre prophecies and your lies and your nonsense, there is a lot of money there that you will never ever see the benefit of. So I would put it to you that in order to stroke your own ego, in order to feed that huge sense of self-importance that you as a psychopath no doubt possess, I suggest that you use that money in order to build a monument for yourself in the form of a lasting legacy. And the best way of doing that is to spend your money on so-called good causes charities and so on. Don't try, by the way, to understand what a good cause is or what a charity 
actually tries to do because you will not be able to do that but remember that charities have this tendency of remembering their benefactors and honoring them and that of course will be part will be the bricks and mortars of this monument that you are now thinking that you should should now be thinking of constructing for yourself find a charity that honors their benefactors by actually erecting monuments for them like statues or shrines or whatever you know there must be a few of them around as well something that will appeal to your ego there must be something there there's plenty of charities to choose from that is the appeal that I am making to Harold Camping I am appealing I am appealing to your psychopathic nature not your better nature or your charity or your good nature or anything like that I'm appealing to your narcissism I'm appealing to your ego please use it wisely remember tick tock tick tock time is running out.